And I hope that you can see that there's some movement here on these Christmas trees. These come to us from Mr. Christmas. Mr. Christmas is one of my favorite vendors during the holidays. They started their business as a family owned and operated shop back in 1933. A gentleman in West Virginia was hired by a local department store. This is back in the days when, when you, didn't, you didn't shop on Amazon and we didn't have an internet and you didn't order things through a phone. You went downtown. And when you were little at Christmas, you'd press your nose up against the glass to see what the displays were at Christmas. And this gentleman who had an engineering background created reindeer that moved. And it was enough for everyone in the little town of West Virginia to, to think it was amazing. And it started a company called Mr. Christmas. And they're still with us today. And what they do well is they capture a certain essence of Christmases gone by. These are their animated musical shadow boxes. Uh, the church that you see here is much, much more limited. Now, the depth of these boxes from front to back is actually relatively slim. They're going to be about three and, a, three and a half inches from front to back. I'm gonna pick up the snowman and hold it because I think that'll give you a better idea of how these work. These have a keyhole on the back so they can be hung up on a wall, but that slim design gives you an entire panoramic village. There is a little switch on the bottom for music. Oh, I just turned it off. What am I doing wrong? There you go. With classic American Christmas tunes to enjoy. Look how ornate the frame is on these. And that Christmas tree in the town square is beautifully done with all kinds of glitter. It looks like a gazillion lights. And the unit does light up all on battery operation. I think this is one of my all time favorite pieces. I get to bring Andrea Corbo into the conversation as well and say hello. Andrea, there's just nothing better than these shadow boxes. How are you? I'm great this morning, Dan. It's so nice to be here with you. I, I mean, you and I have spoken so many times on um, my collection of music boxes when I was a little girl. And this shadow box scene just takes that idea and takes it up a notch. It's, it's that vintage, nostalgic, memory-inducing scene, right? I have the village here in front of me and it's three-dimensional. So it's like looking into a country village scene and it incorporates our favorite thing, animation with that tree in the center of town that's rotating gently. The lights, because like you said, they are all illuminated here. It's nestled on the inside so you don't see the light bulbs, you just see that illumination. Yeah. And then the option to run the music. And like you said, that's a choice. You can just run it animated like I have it here, or you can flip the switch on the bottom and you can turn the music on and it plays eight of our favorite Christmas carols. And it's just gonna be that beautiful backdrop, that sound, that, that classic Christmas music. So the backdrop for your holiday season, or if you choose to turn the music off, just something you can gaze at and remember all those vintage, scenes that we have in our memory from Christmas's past, or maybe our favorite holiday movies or books that we've loved as children. And now we can kind of imagine that and bring it into our own home. At $39.97, Andrea, I want people to fully understand, fully recognize everything that's three dimensional within these shadow boxes is hand painted. That, yes. that sense of detail is beyond belief. You know, the yeah. little faces. You can see their little little red lips from being out in yeah. the snow. And that <laughs> church, that church looks like it's 200 years old at least. Yes. With the and way the, the color of the, the bridge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Dan, if you if you picked it up, you probably noticed that the backdrop is like felt. It's not a paper scene that's yep. painted. It's fabric. So even that is dimensional and that shows color differently than paper wood, but then look at that gorgeous tree in the center with that snow dusted glitter finish. It's got presents around the base. 
I love there on the church, the cobblestone street with the carolers. You've got a horse-drawn carriage in both of the choices. And then the frame itself is a gorgeous white resin sculpted frame. It's got silver detailing on all the edges. It feels like a piece that would have been in my grandparents' house when I was a little girl because they had just the detailing on everything that they owned in that generation, I feel was so much yes. richer and so much more beautiful. And this has all been captured here by Mr. Christmas. And that's what Mr. Christmas does best. I'll tell Since you 1933, what. 1933, right? Yes. been bringing us these heirloom quality pieces. There's a cliche phrase that I've heard my whole life they don't make them like they used to. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? So true. Our generation makes it every bit as better, every much as uh, they used to, maybe even better. And Mr. Christmas is leading that, that push to create things that are new and different, but they all have a sense of nostalgia. Uh, if you want the church setting, we're down to 200 left and that's it. And that's it for the entire season. Uh, Andrea, it's so good to see you. Thank you for helping me out today. You're going to be busy all day long, I have a suspicion. Am I right? I'll be here all weekend, Dan. It is great to be with you. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya. All right.